Hey guys, Coach Ray here. Let's talk about Ermans Gasparini versus Dave Chafee. Looking at some of the polls, looking uh, at some of the interactions with the athletes before the match, everyone still thought it was 50-50. Uh, in my head, like I made my prediction and I said this might be, you know, one of the most interesting matches on the card. But I thought that Hermes has to beat him. I thought that the the damage that Dave suffered will be still too much. Hermes showed up in insane form. He literally couldn't walk. <laughs> he was 130 kilos. What what what, what he said? Like no no fat, just quality only quality uh, and yeah he did he got the job done and it was yeah amazing showing of arm wrestling uh, straight away first round he took the hand and from there I feel like he was in control the whole match he was stuck in some positions where Dave Dave gave up his wrist and went to that uh, Jerry Cataract type of press straight away just to get something going in this match but Hermes was in control. I, I don't see in any point of the match like uh, Hermes, I, I didn't think he was in trouble at all. He showed what we saw back in, I don't know which year it was, in a match with Michael Todd where he can flop wrist press and he can press. And he went from pressing to flop wrist pressing. It was truly great display of arm wrestling. Um, I talked to Hermes so many, every time I see him, he's like, um, Ray, this will be my best impression I can do. No, no, no. It's like, um, Dave, take my hand. Impossible, impossible. And yeah, it's pretty was, uh, pretty much was impossible. Uh, great dominant victory from Hermes Gasparini. What we really need to talk about right now is, because I thought like from this match, the guy that wins this match should be one of the guys that is next in line for Levin. If Levin doesn't face Denis Seplenko, we need to figure out who is the next guy. And right now, Denis has been such a hot topic because, like, he could have a match with John, Devin, or Levin, you know, and uh, maybe he'll straight away just go to Levin. Maybe he'll pull uh, De Devin or John before, you know, and see, see where he's at. But... Hermes and Levin is already, everyone's been talking about, like, this is the match that needs to happen. I think Jerry still kind of goes somewhere in this picture, and I would still love to see that match happening. But if it doesn't, I feel like right now, Hermes is the best choice for the guy that can try to take on Levin. It's not, I'm not, I'm not saying he will beat him. It's still a long shot, just how dominant Levin has been in the past. But... Hermes learned some things about him. He knows where, where his strength level is. I think after this match, he knows what he needs to be working on and what he needs to do to be a challenger. So we're not talking about winning because that's like every match you're gonna propose for Levin. If you're not saying Levin is the favorite, you clearly have not been following arm wrestling. And I think in every match he's pulling right now, he is the absolute, absolute, favorite by a mile but it will all come down to what their what his opponents can do and Hermes right now my opinion best topper on the planet uh proved that showed that versus really strong Dave Chafee really enjoyed that match that was one of the best matches of the night um Hermes emotions because it's such a big victory he has never pulled Dave was amazing uh yeah I hope you guys enjoyed uh the matches as much as I did and everyone there um, yeah if you didn't get the pay-per-view you can still watch the replays I don't know when the videos are coming out on YouTube but I think it's gonna be a little while so if you still want to support arm wrestling you can go and buy the pay-per-view and watch the replays as much as you want it's six hours long event uh, yeah amazing stay strong love arm wrestling